Hello YouTube, this is Jason Crandall 7 here with Crandall Productions, and I'm going to start doing some tutorials, and <clears throat> I'm using Motion 5. I use it because it's a really cheap compositing software, it's very similar to After Effects, just um, more user friendly I think, and it's only $50, so I think it's well worth the, um, the purchase. Um, and this is going to be a muzzle flash tutorial. I know there's a lot on the internet right now, but i am just decided to do one, just more of a test tutorial, but... You know. So let's dive in, shall we? Okay. So here we have my footage of me being weird with a gun. Whatever. <clears throat> so the first step is, of course, to import your muzzle flash. It's just an image that I got off of Google, just because Google's cool like that. Alright. So here we have our little thing. I guess the first step is to actually go to the point where you're going to shoot which is about right here or there yeah then you just drag it over and the blend mode that you want to use to get rid of this yucky black background is you just right click on it head to blend mode and click on the screen and similar to after effects you have all of these choices and screen is the best choice or add whichever one you want <clears throat> and then you just line it up and then to rotate it you this circle in, in that's located inside of it. And a uh, muzzle flash tip, you want it to be about the same size as your gun. Which is about right there is good. And then down here is the 3D tool, so you can make it you can rotate it to make it look a little more realistic, which I think adds a nice touch. So now you've got your muzzle fast blah, muzzle flash placed. Now it's time to actually do the <clears throat> um, add the more environmental factors. So what we're gonna do now is get some smoke. Um, so now we're gonna add our little smoke puff on top of the footage, right about. Yeah, no, no, not working. There. And then you're gonna do the same thing where you just put it into screen or add. Just gonna add because it keeps some of the black. <coughs> oh, should have mentioned that when dealing with a muzzle flash, you want it to only go for one frame long, so you can just clear up the stuff that you don't want, trim it down. So it goes away after one frame. And then we kind of want the smoke puff to be um, already active when the muzzle flash hits. So right there looks good. And then you can just position your smoke to make it look a little more realistic. Just right over the muzzle flash. Make it as big as you want. But I think that looks good right there. As you can see right now, it still kind of looks pretty fake because there's no glow or anything. <clears throat> and how you do the glow, so what you want to do is you go over to your base layer, which is right here, or the entire group, and what you want to do is right click on it, copy it, and drag it all the way to the top of your project right when the muzzle flash hits, and paste it. Now what you want to do is click with select your group and then click on this thing right here. It creates it's called a bezier curve. And then you just mask out all of the places that um the muzzle flash would hit which would include that. And let's add another one for the hand so those two and with these two selected select them both drag them on top of your footage <coughs> now with this in place what you want to do is then <coughs> select the entire group click on the blend mode or the bezier curve I mean 
click on the blend mode and turn it to oh not the bezier curve apparently the entire group my original guess and then go to blend mode and to add as you can see the parts that um, were hit or that we masked out are now lighter and as you can see right now it kind of looks like crap so what you want to do is select your bezier curves head over to the inspector and then right here there's a feather option right here and then you want to feather it out just to give it that nice little glow and now what we want to do is make it the right color so we over head over to the file browser filters color correction and you can choose any of these but I prefer color balance I just think it looks nice and add it to the group Then over over to the inspector, and then you can use this little tool right here to match it to the color of your muzzle flash. If you just click on the muzzle flash, and it now makes it that color. And then you can mask it out some more. Go over to mask, feather it out a little more. Too much feather, way too much. position it wherever you want. Now you have this nice little glow that happens right there. And you want it to last just as long as the muzzle flash just so you get that realistic look. Once I clear it up. <coughs> Drag it over your footage again. And then get rid of it as soon as the muzzle flash is gone. Oops. Check it there. Clear off the end of it. And now we have this. Sorry for the noise. Now we have this. Realistic muzzle flash. Alright, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any ideas for any other tutorials they want to hear in um, that you have questions about, just subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.